I have a lot of things in my classroom to help stimulate students as well as to help them remember what's going on in classroom settings. Because many students with ADHD have trouble with time management, they use visual reminders. I think assignment books are crucial when it comes to turning stuff in. Um, you have to, you need it, basically. Um, otherwise, you're not going to remember. From time to time, I'll give them credit. I'll give them a few points, five points or whatever, for actually using the assignment book, because some of them need even that. I have a lot of things in my classroom to help stimulate students as well as to help them remember what's going on in classroom settings. I have a lot of um, bright things because I don't want them to walk into a class that's kind of dull and boring. And on my walls I have an agenda posted so they always know what's going to happen today so they never have a question in mind on what we're learning. Um, on the back wall as well I have homework assignments, when the next quiz is going to come up, what things they might have missed what things are coming in the future. And so they always know when a next test is coming, what their homework assignment will be that night. I also have on my wall their grades posted by birthday. So every day they can walk in and they can see exactly how they're doing each day. Some teachers have discovered other helpful strategies, such as using repetition and giving clear, concise, and structured directions. Examples of repetition would be writing it on, on the, the board, um, having them hear it orally, um, I constantly start the next class with what we went over the day before, so it's kind of triggering their mind, oh yeah, okay, this is where we're starting, this is where we're going. If I look back on the assignments that I wrote in my first three years of teaching and the assignments that I write now, I'm much more concrete in my directions and I'm step by step. I'll include rubrics, I'll include examples, all of those things I think have been emphasized in the last 10 years and the quality of work that I get back is dramatically increased by that work that I do on the front and it also ends any confusion. Managing daily homework and long-term assignments requires teachers to plan more carefully and expect gradual improvement. I try to get the kids wherever they are on the scale of lateness to sort of peel back that during the year. So if a kid is uh, just doesn't turn things in, I try to get him to turn things in. If a kid turns things in two days late, then I try to rein him in one day late, or if you're going to be late, then you need to email me before the day that you're late to try to rein them back in to being on time. 